What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Ada Taren, and we are back at again with another Naruto 2 Boruto Shinobi Striker video. And today we're gonna be talking about season six and the news surrounding season six uh past basically. Well, I guess what's just going on in season six of Shinobi Striker. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys enjoy this kind of content or want me to have more like discussion-based content, please just let me know. Your boy Aaron loves doing this stuff. We're on the road to 10k, and I promise you guys, my 100 characters video is literally practically done i'm waiting for season six and season seven to drop so i could truly drop the world's most beautiful character creation video without further ado let's get into this video all right ladies and gentlemen so Literally, like the Friday had just passed at the time of this recording, my boy reanimated the minute until it came out in the game, right? Um, I was off on vacation, so I couldn't make a video of me playing with him, so I apologize for that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to, but again, I wasn't here. So, but now your boy Aaron's playing with Minato. I think he's a cool character. Um, I do think they could, you know, tweak his jutsu just a little bit, specifically the ultimate. I think they could make the ultimate a little bit better, but I digress. Um, they finally dropped a trailer broadcasting Minato and all that stuff. But at the end of the trailer, uh, via Twitter, they showed the next two characters that are going to be in the game for Shinobi Striker. We basically have, we're getting Sage of Six Pass, Obito, and we're getting Kaguya. Now, I think that's pretty cool because these are characters that I, I kind of guess, but at the same time, they're very, like, obvious guesses. You know, so I'm not going to claim that I'm the best, but yeah. But, so, it, it's pretty cool. So, we're getting Obito and my girl Kaguya, and I think that's really cool. I'm kind of curious on what Season 7 is going to be about, but I don't know. I think it's probably going to be more Boruto focused since, you know, um, the anime is in a good spot right now, and it's on the hiatus, so it allows them to get the characters up there. But I digress. Anywho, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for me, when it comes to my boy Obito, I think he's going to be pretty cool. Um, I think he's going to be a range type, honestly. We have two Sage of Six Pass characters, and both of them are heal type characters. Uh, the ones I'm referring to is my boy Sage of Six Pass Madara and um, Naruto The Last Battle. Both heal types, both with their own cool jutsus and stuff like that. Really do like them. Uh, it just makes the most sense for Toby to be a, uh, Obito to be a ranged type. And it mainly is because this game takes a lot of inspiration from the Storm series. And when you play the Storm series and you play with my boy Obito, you get a lot of, like, there's a lot of range stuff that he could do, right? So in Storm 4, one of his uses is he shoots off, like, a beam of, like, the Sage of Six Paths orbs. He, like, converts it into a beam, which is a pretty cool jutsu. It's quick, it's fast, and I, I don't know if it's unblockable or not. It's crazy. If you use his tilt, his tilt is when he shoots off, like, a multitude of the true secret orbs, like, bullets. I can also see that being a thing, too. Um, I can see his ultimate in the game is the Sword of Nonobuko. Where he just basically, you know, uh, makes the gigantic staff out of it and then slashes somebody. I can see that being in the game as well. But this all just kind of constitute on why I think he's going to be a ranged type. His Jutsus really could be anything. For Reanimated Minato, what I liked that they did was they gave him that one move from Storm 4 in his Awakening. Where he throws a kunai and starts attacking you from all angles. But I also like the other Jutsu where it's the Barrier Jutsu. Where he basically used that against the Nine-Tailed Fox. Or he used it on the Nine-Tailed Fox before he died. And then he used it in the War Arc against the Ten Tails when it came to the big, big Biju Bomb. And I think that was pretty cool. Now, I want them to start taking more things from the anime. Because, don't get me wrong, I do like that they're taking inspiration from Storm 4. But at the same time, I just kind of feel like, you know, like, been there, seen that. I want to see something new. And, yeah. So, like, the fact that they did that for him, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, rewards wise, I really do think we're finally going to get an Obito face paint. I think we're finally going to get like the marks on his face from whenever it was crushed by the rock. I think that's going to be pretty cool because your boy Aaron is going to finally be able to make that character. The hairstyle, I think we're just going to end up getting kid Obito's hairstyle. I can see, get, uh, not kid, not kid, kid Obito's hairstyle, but like the hairstyle he got when Madara found him in the rubble. You know what I'm saying? Not no, like after the rubble. Yeah. I don't want to say that. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Um, but enough of me trying to break down these characters. Uh, but Kaguya, I see Kaguya being, since we got Minato as a defense, I see Kaguya being more of an attack type character. I just see it. What her juices will be, I don't know. We'll talk about that another day. If you guys want me to break down what you guys think will be, just let me know. 
But the other thing about season six is we finally got our first jutsu for these new, the new jutsu pack that they were talking about, right? And the jutsu is basically the jutsu used by the Raikage, the Edo Raikage, where it's like the finger jab thing, and it's for the attack type. I think it's really cool. You lunge forward and you do the finger jab. I don't have the move right now because I don't have the unreleased stuff um, available to me. But when I do have it, oh, hands down, I'll make a video for you guys. But yeah, it looks really cool. I kind of like that. And so the fact that they're using Kage really makes me realize, like, hey, we might start seeing things from different Kage, not just the whole Kage, which I'm very happy about. If I had to choose out of any of the other Kage that I want to see Jutsus for, I want to see some from the music Kage. Them clam based jutsus that he was using were clean. I love it. The clam jutsus, the gen jutsus, hell, even like the water bullets he was shooting out of his fingers. That was kind of cool to me, and I really want to see that implemented in the game. I would love it. Or Gara's dad when it comes to the, uh, the Golden Sand. Like I said, they do take a lot of inspiration from the Storm series, so maybe they could do something different with Gara's dad's sand. I don't know. At the end of the day, I think that we're going in a great direction when it comes to Shinobi Striker, and we're getting we're going to be getting these new Jutsus every other month, and then in between those every other month, we're going to be getting DLC characters. And honestly, y'all, this year is looking great for Shinobi Striker. I absolutely love it, man. Is there anything you guys want to see like added to the game? Please let me know, man. Because to me, I think they're doing good. The only thing they're missing is custom matchmaking lobbies, and that's it. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know you guys probably got this news from other YouTubers, but you know, your boy Aaron has to drop some news for you guys too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys, hear, if you guys want to hear me talk, about, talk more about Shinobi Striker or what could be potentially going on, please let your boy know. And until next time, peace out.